Hello students. So let's try to solve one more problem from uh, the book Introduction to Quantum Mechanics by DJ Griffith. And uh, this is from the chapter number one and problem 1.11 from my second edition book. So let me explain what is this particular problem. So there is one speedometer and the needle of that speedometer is broken. And when we will give some flick to the car, then the needle can jump anywhere between 0 to pi. And uh, it is also given that every angle is equally likely. That means that uh, suppose we have, suppose I can make a semantic diagram. Suppose this is my speedometer and this value is 0 and this value is pi. And suppose we are giving the first jerk, then we can settle down the needle something like that. And suppose, and again, the car is going smoothly. So the needle will be just like this. So again, you will apply the brake or some new jerk or you accelerate the thing, then it the needle can jump and it may go into this direction. So these all the orientation of needle is actually random variable. So this theta is random variable. And in this problem, it is given that every angle is equally likely. So first we have to find the probability density and then we have to plot the probability density versus angle theta and then we have to find the average value of theta average value of theta square and uh, standard deviation and after then we have to calculate the average value of uh, sine theta cos theta and cos square theta so it's a very nice problem so according to problem the probability density rho theta is constant because for every theta we have the needle have equal probability to be can be settled down so this will be between 0 to pi and this a is constant and 0 otherwise and when we are going to so obviously if it is probability density then we have to use this property that rho theta d theta that means total probability between 0 to pi must be equal to 1 and from here we can easily calculate a d theta between 0 to pi must be 1 so the value of a is equal to 1 upon pi so what is my probability density my probability density is basically we can just plot it that uh, rho theta is equal to 1 upon pi when theta is between 0 to pi and we can take equal sign and 0 otherwise. So if we are going to plot it, so then this will be rho theta and rho theta between theta we have constant value and after then all values are 0. So and this value is nothing but 1 upon pi. So this is our probability density and this value is pi. So this is 0 and this is basically angle theta. So this is our first problem. The second problem is we have to calculate the standard deviation. So we so calculating the standard deviation, first we have to calculate the average value of theta. This will be theta, rho theta, d theta, that will 0 to pi. And this value is obviously 1 upon pi I can take outside because this is constant. And between 0 to pi, theta, d theta, and this value is nothing but pi square by 2. Sorry, if this pi by 2 we can put. This value is nothing but pi by 2. And similarly, we have theta square. The theta square is nothing. Theta, rho theta, d theta. So this is theta square. So this will be 1 upon pi. Theta square, d theta, 0 to pi. And this value is equal to, obviously, pi square by 3. So we have calculated this uh, theta and uh, expectation value of theta square. Then we can easily calculate the value of sigma. Sigma is nothing but average value of theta square minus average theta square root under. And this value is equal to pi upon 4. Sorry, this value is basically pi square upon 3 minus this is, is pi square upon 4 
root under so this value is equal to you can easily calculate this particular value so we can take pi outside and inside we have 1 upon 12 so this is my basically sigma this is our sigma that is a standard division we have calculated now we have to find the average value of sin theta cos theta and cos theta square so we have basically so we can easily calculate we have already calculated that rho theta is nothing but one upon pi which is constant because all theta are equally probable between 0 to pi and 0 otherwise so we have to calculate the value basically cos theta the expectation value of first we have to calculate sin theta so that value is equal to sin theta rho theta d theta between 0 to pi and we know the rho theta is nothing but 1 upon pi we have to go for 0 to pi sin theta d theta and this value sin theta d theta we can easily calculate and this value is equal to nothing but 2 upon pi similarly we have to calculate cos theta the value of cos theta again we can go for cos theta rho theta d theta that will 0 to pi again rho theta is 1 upon pi you have to integrate cos theta d theta between 0 to pi this value is 0 because cos theta the integration of cos theta is sin theta and that will be between 0 to pi is 0 next is very interesting we have to calculate the expectation value of cos square theta or average value of cos square theta that is again 0 to pi cos square theta rho theta d theta and this value is again 1 upon pi rho theta is 1 upon pi we can go for cos square theta d theta 0 to pi and that value is 1 upon pi 1 upon half 1 minus cos 2 theta between 0 to pi and this value is equal to we can find that is nothing but half so these are the uh, final answer we have to calculate it so obviously if we have uh, the distribution function or probability density then we can easily find whatever be the other parameter we can easily find the average value of other function and obviously we should always remember that this theta is in this problem is nothing but the random variable and it is the one of the beautiful example of continuous random variable so you can try this problem with yourself if you have any suggestion to give you can you are free to give the suggestion thank you